Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2021. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Zephaniah 1 through 3 and Revelation 16. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation so that the reading of your Word will be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And they all said, Amen. Zephaniah 1 The word of the Lord that came to Zephaniah, son of Cushi, the son of Gelaliah, the son of Aramah, the son of Hezekiah, during the reign of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judea. Judgment on the whole earth in the day of the Lord. I will sweep away everything from the face of the earth, declares the Lord. I will sweep away both man and beast. I will sweep away the birds in the skies, the fish in the seas, and the idols that cause the wicked to stumble. I will destroy all mankind on the face of the earth, declares the Lord. I will stretch out my hand against Judea and against all who live in Jerusalem. I would destroy every remnant of Baal worship in this place. The very names of the idolatrous priests, those who bow down on the roofs to worship their starry hosts, those who bow down and swear by the Lord, and who also swear by Moloch, those who turn back from following the Lord, and neither seek the Lord nor inquire of him. Be silent before the Sovereign Lord, for the day of the Lord is near. The Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has con consecrated those he has invited. On the day of the Lord's sacrifice, I will punish the officials and the king's sons and all those clad in foreign clothes. On that day I will punish all who avoid stepping on the threshold, who fill the temple of their gods with violence and deceit. On that day, declares the Lord, a cry will go up from the first gates, quailing from the new quarter, and a loud crash from the hills. Quail you who live in the market district, all your merchants will be wiped out. All who trade with silver will be destroyed. At that time, I will search Jerusalem with lamps and punish those who are complacent, who are like wine left in uh, its dredges, who think the Lord will do nothing either good or bad. Their wrath will be plundered, their houses demolished. Though they build houses, they will not live in them. Though they plant vineyards, they will not drink the wine. The great day of the Lord is near, near and coming quickly. They cry on the day of the Lord is bitter. The mighty warrior shouts his bitter cry. That day will be a day of wrath, a day of distress and anguish, a day of trouble and ruin, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness, a day of trumpet and battle cry against the fortified cities and against the corner towers. I will bring such disasters on all peoples that they will group grope about like those who are blind. Because they have sinned against the Lord, their blood will be poured out like dust, and their entrails like dung. Neither their silver nor their gold will be able to save them. And on the day of the Lord's wrath, in the fiery fire of his jealousy, the whole earth will be consumed, for he will make a sudden end of all who live on the earth. Judea and Jerusalem judged along with the nations, 
Judea summoned to repent. Zephaniah 2 Gather together, gather yourselves together, you shameful nation, before the decree takes effect, and that day passes like wind-blown shaft, before the Lord's fierce anger comes upon you, before the day of the Lord's wrath comes upon you. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land. You who do what is he commands, seek righteousness and seek humility. Perhaps you will be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. Philistia and Gaza will be abandoned, and Ashaphon Kalan left in ruins at midday. Ashad will be emptied and Ekron uprooted. Woe to you who live by the sea, you Kerathites people. The word of the Lord is against you. Canaan, land of the Philistines, he says, I will destroy you, and none will be left. A land by the sea will become, become pastures, having wells for shepherds, and pins for flocks. That land will belong to the remnant of the people of Judea. There they will find pastures. In the evening they will lie down in the house of Ashkelon. The Lord their God will care for them. He will restore their fortunes. Moab and Ammon I have heard the insults of Moab and the taunts of Ammonites who insult my people and made threats against their land. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, surely Moab will become like Sodom and Ammonites like Gomorrah, a place of weeds and salt pits, a wasteland forever. The remember and the remem the remnant of my people will plunder them. The survivors of my nation will inherit their land. This is what they will get in return for their pride, for insulting and mocking the people of the Lord Almighty. The Lord will be awesome to them when they when He destroys all the gods of the earth. Distant nations will bow down to him. All of them will, all of them in their own lands. Cush, you Cushites too will be slain by my sword. Azariah, he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Azariah, leaving leaving Nineveh utterly desolated and dry as a desert. Flocks and herds will lie down there, creatures of every kind. The desert owl and the screech owl will roost on her columns. Their hooting will echo throughout the windows. Rubble will fill the doorways. The beams of cedar will be exposed. This is the city of rivalry that lived in safety, she said to herself, I am the one, and there is none besides me. What a ruin she has become, a liar for wild beasts, a lair for wild beasts, who, and all who pass by her scoff and shake their fists. Jerusalem, Zephaniah 3. Woe to the city of opposers, rebellious and defiled. She obeys no one. She accepts no correction. She does not trust in the Lord. She does not draw near to her God. Her officials within her, within her are roaring lions. Her rulers are evening wolves. With who live no, who leave nothing for the morning. Her prophets are unpredictable. They are te treacherous people. Her priests profane the sanctuary and do violence to the law.
The Lord within her is righteous. He does no wrong. Morning by morning he dispenses his justice, and evening and every new day he does not fail. Yet the unrighteous know no shame. Jerusalem remains unrepentant. I have destroyed nations, and their strongholds are demolished. I have left their streets deserted, with no one passing through. Their cities are laid waste, and they are des deserted and empty. Of Jerusalem I thought, surely you will fear me and accept my correction. Then her place of refuge would not be destroyed, nor all my punishments come upon her, but they were still eager to act corruptly in all they did. Therefore, wait for me, declares the Lord, for the day I will stand up to testify. I have decided to assemble the nations together, to gather the kingdoms, and to pour out my wrath on them. All my fierce anger, the whole world, will be consumed by the fire of my jealous anger. Restorations of Israel's remnant. Then I will purify the lips of the peoples that all of them may call on the name of the Lord and serve him shoulder to shoulder. From beyond the rivers of Cush my worshippers may scattered, my scattered people will bring me offerings. On that day you, Jerusalem, will not be put to shame for all the wrongs that you have done to me, because I will remove from you your arrogant boasters. Never again will you be haughty on my holy hill, but I will leave, with, leave within you the meek and the humble. The remnant of Israel will trust in the name of the Lord. They will do no wrong. They will tell no lies. A deceitful tongue will not be found in their mouths. They will eat and lie down, and no one will make them afraid. Sing, daughter Zion, shout aloud, Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel, is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear, Zion. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord your God is with you. The mighty warrior who saves, will he will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you but will rejoice over you with singing. I will remove from you all who mourn over the loss of your appointed festivals, which is a burden and a reproach for you. At that time, I will deal with all who oppressed you. I will rescue the lame. I will gather the exiles. I will give them praise and honor in every land where they have suffered shame. At that time I will gather you. At that time I will bring you home. I will give you honor and praise among all the peoples of the earth. And when I restore your fortunes before your very eyes, says the Lord. That was Zephaniah 1 through 3. Now we shall be turning to Revelation 16. Revelation 16. The seven balls of God's wrath. Revelation 16. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying that the seven angels go pour out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. The first angel went and poured out his bowl upon the land, and ugly 
festering sores broke out on the people who had the mark of the beast and worshipped his image. The second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it turned into blood like that of a dead person, and every living thing in it died. The third angel poured out in his bowl on the rivers and springs of water, and they became blood. Then I heard the angel in charge of the waters say, You just you are just as three judgments. These judgments, O Holy One, you who are and, and who were, who are and who were, for they have shed the blood of your holy people and your prophets, and you have given them blood to drink as they deserve. And I heard the altar respond, Yes, Lord, God Almighty, true and just are your judgments. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and the sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were seared by the intense heat, and they cursed the name of God, who had control over the, these plagues. But... They refused to repent and glorify him. The fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beasts, and its kingdom was plung plunged into darkness. People gnawed their tongues in anger, or gnawed their tongues in agony, and cursed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores but they refused to repent of what they had done. Go to sleep. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its waters was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. Then I saw three impure spirits that looked like frogs, they came out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. They are demonic spirits, and they perform signs, and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God's Almighty. Look, I come like a thief, blessed is the one who stays awake and remains clothed so as not to go naked and be shamefully uh, exposed. Then they gathered their kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. The seven angel poured out his bowl into the air, and out of the temple came a loud voice from the throne, saying, It is done. Then there came flashes of lightning, rumbling, pure, uh, pearls of thunder, and a severe earthquake. No earthquake like it has ever occurred since mankind has been on earth. So tremendous was the quake, the great cities spilt into three parts, and the city of the nations collapsed. God remembered Babylon the great and gave her the cup filled with the wine of fury of his wrath. Every island fled away and the mountains could not be found. From the sky huge hailstorms, each weighing about a hundred pounds, fell on people and they crushed God on account of they cursed God on account of the plagues of hail, because the plague was so terrible. And that was Revelation 16, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. Uh, tomorrow we will be covering Haggai 1 through 2 and Revelation 17. Father, I just thank you for your uh, word, because without your word I could not be your messenger of the word. 
So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Thank you, folks, for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So tune in tomorrow because we will be here, God willing, and we hope that you are too.